Now here's a question from Brian, who asks, Dear Jungle, please enlighten me on proper strip club etiquette. Hey man, that's a great question. I just got thrown out of the ticklish whisker last night for pulling my flesh weasel out in the champagne room. What kind of jacked up bullshit is that? If some poor hard-working esthetician school dropout is going to go through all the trouble of getting giant fake titties the size of a small orphan child, clutching a pair of cassava melons, and then cover said titties in glitter and that vanilla scented perfume they put in your car for an extra $2 at the car wash, and then rub said titties up against me for the entire first three minutes of a Rob Zombie song, who's to say it's inappropriate to whip out my love stump and try to take this relationship to the next level? Apparently six or seven bouncers and a security staff at the Ticklish Whisker. That's who. Goddamn freedom-hating communist fascist killjoys. So here's the deal. This is a list of behaviors that gentlemen club-like establishments frown upon. Number one, you can't whip your boner out. All right, I know, it seems counterintuitive, but I guess these people don't want the other customers to see your proud man meet and get all depressed and jealous because theirs ain't nearly as majestic and photogenic as yours is. I mean, shit, man. My dong hammer's got its own Flickr, Instagram, and Pinterest account because my shit looks good on film, but to each their own. Keep it in your pants, or else you're going to end up wasting that cover charge you paid getting thrown out. Number two, no personal checks. Which is bullshit, because I keep telling them, just because I don't get paid till Thursday, don't mean I shouldn't get to see some titties right now. I'm good for it, man. What the fuck? Speaking of finances, no coupons or loose change. Now, nothing pisses a stripper off more than you trying to play a game of quarters with her JJ hole, while she's rhythmically clapping her butt cheeks together to an R. Kelly song, which, personally, I think is kind of stupid. Money's money, man. In this economy, you gotta take every little bit you can get. And that goes the same for coupons. How come I can't use a stack of $1 off coupons for Tide Laundry Detergent or Tender Vittles Cat Food to pay for my lap dance? Shit, man. $20 saved is as good as $20 paid in my book. These chicks gotta do laundry and feed their pets just like everybody else, right? Number four, no farting. Now, personally, I think it's hilarious to ask a stripper to pull my finger and then release the stinkiest invisible brown beast that's ever made an onion weep right there in the booth. It shows I'm a down-to-earth guy who doesn't take himself too seriously. But strippers hate it. Must interfere with the pheromones given off by titty glitter or something. Number five, you can't get up on stage and dance. Again, this seems like a double standard to me. I mean, if these chicks are up there pleasing us, shaking their money makers for a dollar a squat, You'd think they'd appreciate the gesture, getting to take a load off of those six-inch polyurethane stilettos for a spell, and letting old Jungle strut his stuff, and trip the life fantastic. I guess these chicks have really low self-esteem and don't want any competition while up there in the limelight. And I don't blame them neither. I mean, look at this goddamn mustache. It's as beautiful and majestic as a bald eagle getting a hand job from a Statue of Liberty herself. I wouldn't want to compete with that either. Well, all right, Brian. Those are a few pointers to help get you started in the right direction when it comes to strip clubs. Now, I've got a lot more knowledge to share, but we're going to have to save it for another time. Take it easy, man. And remember, keep it in your pants until the end of the lap dance. Hell yeah. Now, like this video and leave me a question in the comments down below. If I answer your question directly in an upcoming video, you'll get a free pack of AFT stickers. And maybe even a lap dance from the good old buddy Jungle. All for good for ladies only.